In this video, I'm going to discuss the main strategies for managing rivers and preventing flooding. In this video I'm going to investigate the various different hard and soft river management strategies that can be employed to reduce the risk of flooding. I'm currently in Banbury checking out the Banbury Flood Alleviation Scheme, so make sure you subscribe or click the link above to look at the example of flood management. When we start evaluating all these different strategies, you need to consider the cost versus the benefits. Are the costs really worth it for the end results or benefits? So we break it down into hard engineering and soft engineering. So hard engineering sees the construction of artificial structures to try to reduce the risk of flooding. Dams and reservoirs are one of those methods. So the use of dams and reservoirs are great for controlling the flow of a river downstream and have several benefits and costs. Reservoirs can be positive in promoting tourism, promoting new habitats, can be used for supplying drinking water and can provide hydroelectric power. However, some of the negatives could include the displacement of small communities. The overall cost could be quite high and several environmental effects could be seen in the area. This could be interference with migrating fish, it could cause inconsistent erosion downstream due to a sudden release of water and also possible landslides. Channel straightening is when hard engineering is used to change a section of the meandering river into a straighter, wider and deeper course. This should reduce the risk of flooding and help improve navigation for boats. By reducing friction and transporting water out of the area at a faster rate will lead to reducing the flooding risk. Some of the problems involved with channel straightening can include displacing flooding further downstream, could lead to affecting habitats, and is generally another expensive method of management. Embankments are created to raise the sides of the riverbank and therefore enable the river to retain more water. The use of embankments are generally more cost effective in comparison to other hard engineering strategies and can contribute to the development of habitats and riverside footpaths. However, these could reduce the access to the river for fishing and boating, could require more maintenance, and if flood water does breach the embankment, this could result in water remaining inland for a longer amount of time. A flood relief channel is designed to divert extra water from the main part of the river. This excess water is taken on an alternative route to alleviate flooding or to avoid a congested settlement. This reduces the risk of flooding in populated areas, can promote further leisure activities alongside the channel and increase confidence for homeowners or businesses. Again, these types of schemes can be very expensive, may displace people or wildlife, cause more flooding further downstream and also may take years to complete. Moving on to soft engineering strategies. So soft engineering involves adapting to the river environment and using less invasive techniques when trying to protect against future flooding. The general practices of floodplain zoning, warning systems, planting more trees and naturally restoring the river environments are much cheaper alternatives to hard engineering. Floodplain zoning sees the local authorities and environmental agency categorise different areas that surround the river into different flood risk zones. When planning new building works they have to produce flood risk assessments and this can influence what each area can be used for. This is fairly cost effective, protects river habitats and does not increase the amount of impermeable surfaces surrounding a river. However, this could lead to an increase of greenbelt land being built on in the future, as well as the fact that a lot of UK cities have already built on floodplains. The environmental agency and local authorities usually coordinate to communicate any flood risks to the public through various media outlets. This can be a fairly easy way of ensuring that people can protect their belongings and their own safety, but it is only effective if people actually listen and take action to these warnings. Planting trees and increasing the amount of green spaces surrounding a river can be a very effective method of reducing the speed of runoff entering the river. This is also fairly inexpensive and creates new habitats for wildlife, 
but can have negative effects on the appearance of the area and could impact grazing land. Restoring a river back to near its original form is also a type of soft engineering. Converting from a hard engineered project back into a more natural river channel helps increase biodiversity and produces a more aesthetically pleasing environment that could attract visitors. Compared to other soft engineering methods, this is quite an expensive method of reducing flooding. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the rest of my river series and make sure to subscribe to get further GCSE geography videos coming soon.